Jiffus, our plays back once again and today we've got something a little bit different because I'm gonna be starting this as a brand new series in which I build some really cool stuff in creative mode in No Man's Sky next and then we'll do a little showcase every now and again to take a look at the stuff that I've built and today we're gonna be looking at this nice little chapel that I made and I've named it the Church of the Horned Beak. So this of course is a little Gek inspired uh, worship place, a little church chapel style building quite rustic, uh, quite kind of quaint and cozy looking and I've taken a lot of inspiration from the landscape around me for this build. So you can probably tell that straight away with the colours that I've used. I've gone for this beautiful dark red colour to kind of match the autumn like trees and settings around me and the wood, I don't know if you can kind of tell in this particular light. Oh, look at these little jippers. <laughs> You've come to pray at the church I see. Maybe you'll be sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, this isn't a cult. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I've gone for like a weird teal colour, like a really light blue. Uh, I was kind of playing around with different colours and it just seemed to fit absolutely perfectly with the kind of style and the setting. So that's what's made me go with that particular colour. And I think I've probably taken that from the, uh, the plants and the minerals and stuff that are around here as well. Because there's quite a lot of blue around in the landscape. And what I really wanted to do with this build was kind of make it not too intrusive. You know, I wanted it to kind of look natural. I wanted it to blend in with the surroundings. And I wanted it to feel like it was at home here, you know. And one of the key things I do whenever I try and build something now. With the next update and all of the cool new building tools and pieces and uh, ways that we can build is I try to like use the terrain manipulator to try and blend them in a little bit. I definitely still need some practice with the terrain manipulator to try and make it a bit smoother but I try to build up some little rocky areas around the outsides and the foundations of the building so it almost looks a little overgrown, a little weathered like it's been there for a long time and I'm really really enjoying that tiny little detail. The terrain manipulator has a lot of possibilities, I need to explore that a bit more. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I like the effect that that comes out with. And this is the little build that we've gone with. So I've gone for like a little chapel tower up on the side. And then almost like a, a really kind of basic, nothing too regal or grand, you know. Like a nice little chapel with some wood cladding and some uh, red concrete there. And I think, I don't know, I just feel like it looks really organic, you know. It all kind of fits together really well. 
and it all looks like it was meant to be, you know, one little building. I really, I'm really proud of it. I don't know if, you, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really pleased with the way that this turned out. And I've kind of used some odd things here and there, just because they've given the look that I wanted. So instead of using windows on the little uh, chapel tower there, I've used the hollow door things, not the actual hollow door. I've used the hollow door for a window here because I thought that looked really cool. Uh, but I've used the, the regular sort of structured doors because they looked better to me than any of the windows that took up a full block. I kind of wanted small windows poking out like you would see in like a church steeple or something like that. So that's why I've gone with that. And then the little flag there is the little symbol uh, of this particular church. So that's kind of the inspiration for the build. Wanted it to blend in, wanted it to feel natural, wanted it to look like quite a simple, cozy, quaint little chapel area. A place of worship uh, for the Gek. And this is actually a place where you would worship the Gek, not worship as a Gek, but you come here to worship the Gek, so... <laughs> so all of you guys should be coming here right now. <laughs> and I guess we should probably take a little bit of a look inside, but before we do, I want to just kind of jetpack up a little bit so we can kind of see it from the top here. I've shown some nice footage there, and I'll show some more at the end of me in, like, uh, camera mode and stuff to get a better look at it, but this is kind of the building itself on the outside so yeah i don't know i'm really happy with the way it all turned out so if we go inside i've put a lot of little uh cozy items and kind of almost made it look kind of messy and hobbly like lived in i wanted it to go for like a cozy lived in kind of feel so we've got some lamps and things potted about on the inside we've got this area that's kind of collapsed in and kind of overgrown a little bit you can still walk out here but you know they don't have a lot of money here this church has been going for a very very long time and uh, they haven't really got the budget to be, like, excavating huge amounts of land. So it's kind of been overtaken a little bit by its surroundings. But I like this. So this is the kind of chapel tower, and it does have little wooden floors inside it. They're all blocked off at the moment. It's kind of like a little secret church tower. I imagine that being, like, where the bell or something like that would be at the top of the chapel, you know? And then inside, of course, this is where the fun starts. I've kind of ended up making it feel almost cult-like inside. So I've gone with these little uh, rows of church benches here, kind of coming up in the center. So this is where all of the uh, delegates, I guess, of the convent would, <laughs> would gather. And they'd all kind of sit here. And then I've built a little altar at the top. And I've put the flag there again, the little symbol of this particular church. Uh, and I've, I've made this little altar by using two corner tables and kind of piecing them together with a little gap in the middle there so that was kind of what i came up with to build like a nice little altar center centerpiece like focal point uh yeah i don't know i'm just really happy the way it turned out and like the red glow i've purposely tried not to use too much bright lighting in here i want it to feel all cozy and quaint that's kind of the feel that i was going for with this you've got the little desk as you come in so this is where you'd sign up or register or whatever for the chapel um and then you've got your sort of seats where you'd go and sit down and get ready for the sermon and then of course Gek Boy would be behind here giving his little uh <laughs> giving his little sermon preaching to the masses. I am the Lord of the Gek. <laughs> Bow before me. So that's kind of what I've gone for with this. This little area here I thought was really cool. So I've made this cozy little cubby and I've used the little uh, corner pieces here to kind of make it look even more cozy. And I've fenced off the little stair bit. This was really nice. So this is just a regular half stair. I've put that up there, but of course that doesn't come with any cladding or anything. But then I've used a roof piece here um, and kind of used that to kind of make the stairs actually blocked in and almost as if they've been like properly finished and stuff so that's ended up looking really cool i got my little save point but i'm just using that as a really nice little glowing lamp that helps give it that cozy feel i've gone for red lighting in here and i really think that helps with the kind of culty type feel that I've gone for with this little chapel. So yeah, I like the way that that's turned out a lot. I've put some little bits of detail and decoration around everywhere as well. So we've got some fans up on the walls. Uh, we've got a little storage crates and stuff. And in the main area, of course, red is the theme. This is the main stage. You know, this is where the, uh, the, the sermons are given and the people gather, so it's supposed to look kind of nice in here. You can still kind of see it's a bit weathered, it's a bit rustic, it's not like super swish or fancy. But they've put a little bit more care into this area. And then these little back bits and stuff are kind of the little junk cubby holes where they just put all the stuff. And I actually had a really cool idea here. So, of course, we've got these three giant barrels here. So the idea for that was when people come here to the little Gek church, the Church of the Horned Beak, they will, of course, be given a little offering of drink and something else as a little treat. So the little drink here, this will be the little Gek juice that's given out to make them a little bit tipsy and uh, get them in the mood for some brainwashing from the cult. I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, get them relaxed and enjoying the sermon. <laughs> and then uh, over here, we've got our little agricultural area. So this is, of course, where we're growing our own special 
version of Nip Nip. So this is where the church leader has got his own little experimental plants going on. And again, at the start of the sessions when people come in to worship, that's when they'd be given these little, uh, little tiny pieces, just a little tiny bit for them to put under their tongue and to sort of chew on while they sit and watch the sermon. And that just makes them feel nice. <laughs> so that's kind of what all of that area there is about and I've tried to make it look a little bit messy I've got some lamps and stuff on the floor just kind of scattered about next to the bigger lamps that are meant to be there I, I really wanted to make it feel like cozy and warm So hopefully that comes across and one of the things that I really love that I did in this particular room Was putting the little rafters on the ceiling so I've put these little girder things in place I did that with the uh, the little half block things I put them all over the ceiling just to give it that feel like it's like an old church building with big thick rafters like holding up the floor above so that's what all of that's about and then up here We've just got like a nice little reflection area So I imagine the uh, the Gek overlord would be up here relaxing chilling out before he gives the sermons This is where he come and sort of calm calm himself get ready and be prepared before everyone comes in And of course we've got a little desk if he needs to make any notes for his sermon and stuff So yeah, I don't know everything in here has a little purpose Everything kind of goes together to make that kind of warm and cozy feeling and I just feel like the whole place has ended up being like really quaint and nice so I'm quite I'm quite pleased with how this all turned out. And this is my first real attempt at doing a proper little build with the new tools that we've got available. So I'm definitely looking forward to some of the cool stuff that I could do next as well. So that's the downstairs. You've seen the outside. Now I want to take you to the little secret attic area. So there's no stairway. There's no ladder. There's no way that anybody down here would know about this place or get there. But of course, we have all the answers if I can do this properly. So this is not as easy as you might think. Ready? Choo! Okay, there we go. We did it first try. So this little secret cubby area, I've made a little balcony banister type thing so we don't fall off the edge when we're up here. This is the little private quarters, I guess, for the leader of the church. The Gecko Overlord himself lives up here. Of course, on his little balcony, he's got some nip-nip. <laughs> You've got to have the nip-nip. I mean, he's, he's a Gek uh, preacher. Of course he's got the nip-nip. We've got this little lamp, and I love the way this tree kind of like overgrows into my balcony and kind of like... The leaves kind of ruffle over the edge. I don't know. It just helps it have that like weathered natural feel like it's being taken over, you know, and that's kind of what I was going for. So, yeah, I really like the way that's turned out. Of course, you can get a little better view of the little tower here and the little flag on top. And the trees around this place are just so perfect for this little type of cozy build. It just blends in. It looks so natural. It doesn't look ghastly on the surroundings or anything. It just kind of fits in really nicely. So, yeah, I definitely like the way it kind of blends into the nature around it. So what have we got in here? So we've got, of course, the little bed. So this is the little sleeping quarters. Very simple, you know. He's not a rich and uh, showboaty type preacher. You know, he's quite down to earth. He's a man of the geck, you know. <laughs> and he tries to be a man for the geck too. So he's got humble, humble quarters. Just a nice little simple bed in his little cubby here. And a little bedside lamp. Because, of course, all the geck are scared of the dark. Bless him. <laughs> We've got some more of the geck juice up here. Don't ask about that. I don't know how that got there. <coughs> not smuggling any supplies. And then we've got all of our little storage areas and crates on the wall here. This is where we put all the little knickknacks. A little table that's just kind of been chucked away here up in the attic. It was the one they used to have downstairs, but they did renovate about 100 years ago, uh, and they never really got rid of the old one. So we've got a little bit of a mess up here, and I, that's kind of like the way I wanted the attic to feel, you know? I wanted it to be quite bare, quite basic. It is just an attic. It's nothing fancy, and there's some stuff just kind of thrown around and left there. A bit of a clutter kind of thing going on. And I've used yellow lighting up here for the most part, because I wanted it to be you know, this is the actual living quarters. This is where the light is meant to give light and stuff. Downstairs, the red glow is all part of the experience when you come in to pray at the altar and all that kind of stuff. And it's meant to look a little bit culty. But up here, we've gone for the yellow, except for one little area here. Of course, the little private sacrificial worship room. What? <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is just a little area where I come and sit down on my sofa. That's all. <laughs> don't worry about this uh, glowing ominous red gek symbol on the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, for anyone wondering, the actual gek decal is bright green and of course that didn't really fit in with the build that I was going for so I put this little red lamp up here and the glow from that red lamp actually colors the decor and makes it look like it glows red so I was really pleased with the way that kind of came out you know it made it the color that I wanted it to be because you can't actually change the color for the decals but you can on everything else though so yeah I'm really impressed with all the cool stuff that we can actually do with the building but yeah I guess that's kind of that's the place you know that's the little first build of this new series that I'm doing. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I'd love to know what you guys think about all of this. You know, what kind of things do you see that are cool? Do you have any other cool ideas for stuff that I could have done? Any ideas for like future builds that I might want to do as well? But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this one. It is something 
quite different to what I normally do, of course, but I'm just having so much fun with the base building right now. It's so, like, chill and relaxing and super, super addictive. Like, when you start building with this stuff, it's really hard to stop. Like, I spent probably about four to six hours on this place uh, last night, way after I was meant to be in bed, and I just couldn't put it down. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of way this turned out. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully, you guys like it too. Uh, and I guess I'll see you in another one of these episodes pretty soon. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like and a comment. Let me know that you do want to see more of this type of thing, as well as my regular episodes and gameplay and stuff like that. I'm hoping I can do more cool build showcases like this, and uh, I've got some really nice ideas for other stuff that I want to do. So yeah, let me know if that's something you want to see. But yeah, other than that, I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Take care, guys, and peace. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my current Patreon supporters, Shrock Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, NTB, Ovin S, Tyler D, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Autumn Long, Lukash, Husband Vader, Amras, Dale from the Atlas Herb, Ty the Blazer, Joannes Anderson, Heath, The Portrait Dude, Akami, Mac for a Day, Ongrad, and Dead D Reza. You guys are the best. <laughs>